Kevin Rudd uh, sabotaged Labor's campaign in 2010 through his vengeful leaks to Laurie Oakes and Peter Harcher. And since then, you know, what do you say about Rudd? Um, you know, anyone who gets into a leadership position in politics runs the risk of a serious loss and a period of hurt. Uh, I felt it in 2004. Malcolm can talk about his experience in losing the Liberal leadership. But I think the normal reaction is that for 12 to 18 months, uh, you feel a sharpness, perhaps a, a, a desire to thrash out at those that you blame, but then you move on. But what you've had from Rudd has gone well beyond 12 to 18 months. It's three years of concerted revenge. He knows that every day that he gets in the media cycle, he's knocking Gillard down a notch or two in the polls. This is a program, a jihad of revenge, the like of which we've never seen before <laughs> in the history of Australian politics. <laughs> and it goes beyond the normal human reaction of revenge. You're getting into the realm of evil here with Rudd, the realm of evil, <laughs> with someone who has gone well beyond normal practice in politics, has split his party in I'm, two, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna and now effectively... I'm going to have to pull you up on the no, no. question of evil, well, because it that, is, that, it sort is of, because that seems so way beyond the pale. No, to no, suggest well, Tony, Tony, you think about someone's it. Someone's ambition to be now, Prime Minister <laughs> equates to evil. You're getting now into the sabotage of a second Labor campaign, not just turning them from a 20-seat majority to the torture of a hung parliament in 2010, but now getting to the sabotage of Gillard's campaign a second time. And, you know, it's different when you've been in these leadership positions and you know the cycle of getting past revenge. With Rudd, he hasn't got past that. So how do you explain it? I say you're getting into the realm of evil. Sabotaging your own party twice, Tony, is something you've never seen in Australian politics before. And unless you've got some other explanation for it, I stand by my statement. We've got another question on this. It's from Dean Shacker. Uh, Mark Latham, uh, through your consistent, bitter and personal criticism of both Kevin Rudd and Julia Gillard, do you accept that you have done and are continuing to do more damage to the Australian Labor Party than either of them have ever done? Well... Um... <laughs> If uh, defending Gillard consistently over the AWU allegations, um, defending the government's uh, record uh, in, in certain key areas of social policy reform, uh, if that's a problem, I'm sure uh, Gillard would take my comments over the past 12 months well ahead of anything Rudd's been doing uh, through that period. But, you know, you really want to understand what's happened in the modern Labor Party? Uh, go beyond the, the, the personalities, because in many ways Gillard and, and, and Rudd are a proxy for a bigger structural issue inside the Labor Party.